Today what we're going to do is we're going to fit a new cartridge to this ultra finishing valve. This valve is sold as, a, um, as an ultra valve, as a premier valve and a Hudson Reed valve. So they've got different handles on but essentially it's the same valve inside. So um, what we'll do is we'll get, the, we'll get the levers and handles stripped off this and get started. So one of the things that's difficult with this valve is knowing how to get into the valve to start with. Um, as I say, there's different knob arrangement, handle arrangements in this, but there's nothing obvious, no easy way to see how to get into it. However, the way in, the way to start to strip this valve down is there's a grub screw in here behind the handle. So it's really just a case of removing the handle. Now, these can be tight, so what we really need is an old rag and something like this just to grip the, grip the handle so we don't damage the chrome. And that's it, that's it released now. So the handle should come off here. And as ever, the answer is always to lay things out the way they come, um, the way they come out, um, and so you know how to reassemble it. Now here's the grub screw here, and it's a four mil, uh, four mil Allen key you need for that, and it's just case releasing that, and that takes the grub screw out there. And then when you take the top cap off, and in here there's a posi drive screw in here. And this allows the temperature control knob to come off. And that's the temperature control knob off. And then the next thing is this cover. And that, that, that should just lift off fairly easily. It's held on with these splines here. Now one of the things you really need to pay particular attention to here is this is a stop for the, um, for the flow lever. So you must make sure that goes back in the same place. Now, the, um, this is where we come to using using this thing. That this nut here can be really tight in some cases to get off, and so um, you can grip it with something like this. But once again, this is where we need the rag to go round it first. However, if you've got something like this, you won't damage the chrome. This goes round like so. Let me just tension it a little bit. And it, it goes like this, and then you can unscrew this like that. That's it gone, that's it released. There we go. It's a long thread. And so that's that cover off. Um, and now we've got the, the temperature stop, as I say, we must remember the exactly which way that was lying when it's in here. And that goes over here. And now we come to the, the brass retaining nut that holds the uh, that holds the cartridge itself in place. Um, now there's two or three ways to get this off. You know, you can put something in here, a couple of bars in here to try and to try and unslacken it, or big pair of grips or something, you really got to be careful not to try and, try and not damage it. And this is frankly easier done when it's on the wall rather than on the bench, but so I'm going to try and get this apart this way. That's it. That's it released. And it's just a case of unscrewing this. And in here there's an island washer, which I'll mention in a moment or two. And here's the cartridge itself. So it's really just a case of getting the cartridge out. Now, rather usefully, that um, there's a there's a locating pin here, and what we can do is there's a slot in here to get the screwdriver in to lever it forward. And so we just need to lever it up like that. There's also one here. I need to get a bit in the side, and that's it. And so it should just now pull out. And so that's it. That's the cartridge out. Fairly straightforward, and. We have the new cartridge ready to go back in. Now, there's nothing terribly difficult with this, but on the cartridge, there's um, a mark here for hot and cold, and you've got to make sure that the hot port faces the hot side of the valve and the cold port faces the cold side. That's it's all pretty straightforward, and it'll, the the locating pin here keeps you right as well. So this just pops back in like that. Press it down, and then the nylon washer. Now. Some of the later, some of the newer ones will not have this washer because they have a different um, retaining ring. The, the latest retaining ring has a small raised part here, and so you don't need the nylon washer.
but uh, but as this one came with an island washer, we'll pop the island washer back in. Right. It's really just a case of screwing this back in and making sure it's nice and tight. Now, if you've not got anything uh, like this to tighten up, you can use something like a screwdriver and then, you know, it's an old screwdriver. And if you, you can, just to give it a final nip up, just give it a couple of quick taps with a hammer, just to, just to lock it and make sure it's nice and firmly in place. It doesn't need to be over tightened. And so that's that back. Now all we've got to do is start placing the other bits back together. This goes on here like that, and this goes on here like that. And then what we'll do is we've got the knobs um, and levers to put back on again. But we need to come in a little, a little bit closer so you can see that. So this is part two of this video.